Dude, that thing cracked it too, Jared. Oh, <laughs> yes. Dude, awesome, dude. Oh, Jared, that pig smoked it. Smoked it. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh gosh. dude, look at this dude here. Man, that's a big one. Dude, so earlier I was throwing the jackal eye shad. And years ago, when I fished here in a, in a major league fishing cup, I uh, led the first period throwing this watermelon copper crosstail shad. Put it on, boom. So maybe that's the secret, the old crosstail. They just broke the state record at Lake Cayuga for smallmouth, like an eight five. But before that, up on the St. Lawrence, the guy caught a, a previous state record on the crosstail shad. So, sure, you got one. Dude, we got the old double up, man. You get that one, and I'll battle this. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, Dude, we got a double. Look at that trocar hook, pegged him. Done. That's the good thing about a trocar. Super sharp, but the barb's really big. So when you get these smallmouth, you want to be able to not lose them. If you have a hook that's too big a barb or too small a barb, a lot of times when they jump like that, they'll throw it. 3 8 ounce Eco Pro tungsten teardrop weight, seven pound sniper. Let's see what Cody's got here. You got a big one? Oh yeah, dude. No way. <laughs> Begging? Oh, yes, sir. Let's... Yeah, baby. Hey, <laughs> that's the way to start. You know, we've been out in the main lake here. We're on Ontario. If you guys saw the, the last vlog, we were out there. We're having a blast. Wind's getting pretty rough, so we decided to move in, get closer right. here to Henderson Bay. I've never been here. Jared's been here. Look at that. Hey, bro. That's start, awesome, dude. man. Let's do that. Hey, nothing is better. Dude, are they like twins? Or yours bigger, probably. No, heck no. Nothing's better than catching big smallmouth, though, huh? All right, so we just caught those couple of nice ones real close together, and we've been kind of staring at our Garmin maps, which are really, really good. Um, and it seems to be where we caught some earlier today, wherever you got the sharpest contours. So in other words, a, a sharp drop coming off of a flat is where we're getting bit. So we eliminated a lot of water. Obviously there's a ton of water out here. Just by utilizing our electronics and our mapping, we go, okay, there should be, based on where we've had bites before, there should be fish here too. But uh, it's, you know, hopefully, I think we're gonna get some more bites. We're kind of on this rounded point with a sharp, hard drop. Yeah. It, it looks good to me. I'll, I'll tell you one thing too that I've noticed here is, and I've never been here, you know, where Henderson Bay is literally right behind us. This is kind of the first break or first point when you come into this bay. So I think if smallmouth are coming in or out of this bay, they're gonna stop here. You know, we're both throwing a drop shot. Uh, I know you're throwing the cross sail shad. I'm actually throwing a, a Yamamoto Zako. It's a three inch bait it's new for iCast you think of the Zocco as a uh, chatterbait trailer but this is a perfect size for a drop shot as well looks like some of these goby throwing the same rod what a start man i mean a couple couple good four plus pound bass is always good man these smallmouth are awesome yeah so we've tried throwing the net around a little bit you know on some of these places with that finesse game special rod some new, brand new rod by steve's it's pretty i mean the tip on it is pretty unbelievable uh, real light, look real sensitive, but what we found real quick is because we're here later in the summer, a lot of that mossy kind of nasty Slime. stuff. So that drop shot, we, we're using probably what a 24 to 30 inch leader to keep it above, you know, the rocks and the grass, so we don't get all mucked up on our on our baits. And uh, 
Seems to be working. Seems to be working, man. Let's do it. Got him. Oh my gosh. What do you got? I got a giant smallmouth. Loch Ness? Just put on a new Yamamoto Zako three inch. Dude, this thing feels so big, bro. <laughs> I think a lot of it has got to be because we're just drifting in the wind, but it's got this 7.4 rod stalled out. Uh, you know the drag on this thing too, I, it, it is so good. The LT? The LT, it's oh, like yeah. tough. Man, I love this, this new bait. You know, the Zocco, Brett Height designed it years ago, and it's been my go-to chatterbait trailer, you know, with the, uh, the Evergreen Jackhammer. Phenomenal trailer. Well, they just came out with the iCast this year with the Zocco, and immediately I thought, all right, the Jackhammer Stealth Blade, it's gonna be an awesome trailer. Uh, it's gonna be, you know, for a smaller chatterbait, a lot more finesse, but, I thought, what about drop shotting the Great Lakes? Or, you know, sight fishing or finesse flipping. Dude, this thing feels so big. I got my drag loose, I just retied. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, look at this dude here. <laughs> Another nice one. You know, it... gotcha. <laughs> dude, awesome, dude. Oh my gosh, you're so far back there. But look at that little hook there. That's a little owner mosquito hook. That's my go-to nose hook uh, when I'm nose hooking a drop shot. And it just pegs them in the roof of the mouth with that light line. Another beautiful small mouth. You know, I think Jared nailed it. You know, we figured this out earlier. They're on the brakes. We're just drifting down. We're, we're covering, you know, a ton of ground. Like we said, this is the first point they run into with the sharp break. We'll go ahead and release her. There's probably plenty more out there to get. Hey, so far so good. All right, that was awesome. Let me show you guys real quick what I mean by, by throwing a, or doing a nose hook here. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this little three inch Yamamoto Zako here. You know, this is what we're drop shotting today. I'm gonna take the owner mosquito hook, just a number two, and I'm just gonna hook the nose of the bait. It's that simple. What's gonna happen is this bait's gonna have a ton of action. There's gonna be no restriction to this bait, so it's gonna have the maximum action. So you're throwing that drop shot down there. This thing's gonna, you know, move a lot. It's gonna, it's gonna get a lot of bites. And the nose hook is one of the easiest ways to throw a drop shot out there and uh, probably the best way to rig it to get the most bites. Oh, Jared, that pig smoked it. <laughs> Dude, we just moved back up. You know, this is, uh, this is a controlled drift here we're doing. You know, we're trying to Oh, nice one. Nice We're one. trying to just drift down these contour lines. And uh, that's really important, you know, when you're fishing lakes like this in the wind. You know, we're trying to we're trying to keep that boat in that 20, 25 foot range. We made our first drift Whoa. in about 35 feet. We didn't get a bite. Moved in shallower to that 20, 25 foot zone. And we started started getting some bites. So so cool, but the controlled drift, you know, if you have the, you know, the power pole, uh, you know, the drift the, paddles, drift paddles, that's, those are probably the best and the easiest. You hook them right up to your power poles there. It's going to make a big deal, especially when it gets really, really windy. But I'll tell you this, Yamamoto Zako, three inch, new release at iCast, smallmouth magic color. Dude, it's getting some, some good bites in it. Come here, sweetie. Look at that. Yes, sir. I'll take it. Every nice time. one, Cody. Nice one. Yeah, man. Pinned. Dude, that thing cracked it too, Jared. You know, it's uh, it's almost like a little swim bait underwater, but dude, I'll take that. Great lakes, beautiful smallmouth. Look how gorgeous they are. Look how thick they are in the tail. Dude, that will work any day of the week. Let's go ahead and release her.
Oh, look at that, Eric. You got one, Cody Meyer. Big one, man. I've scoped him. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Dude, live scoped him. We're on that control drift like you were talking about, and I seen one shoot up, chase something, and I pitched over to him and toom, smoked it. Smoked hey, it. Man, it's been a fun day, dude. You're sounding off now. It's been yeah. a fun day. I mean, we learned a lot about Lake Ontario. I've never been out here. I'm excited to come back. Obviously, a ton of water. Um, Gosh dang, they never give up. That's, they never give up. That's the thing. Dude, so, you know, uh, my son asked me when we were smallmouth fishing last year at St. Lawrence River, why don't I ever throw just straight fluorocarbon anymore? And you know, the, those days where, where you're doing that and you're getting all that line twist and it's not as sensitive, you don't have as good a hook set, especially when you're dragging in that current. And even out here as well, you know, that deep water, it, it just, you have more direct a hook set because you're doing a real hook set a lot of times so no stretch and it saves you on the fluorocarbon too it does and it's so much more sensitive too when you're dragging around Absolutely. like we are yeah and, and another big part of that too is i know you're throwing a tungsten weight i'm throwing a 3 8 ounce eco pro tungsten weight that that because of that tungsten is so dense you can tell when you're on the juice meaning around some rocks around some gravel, or if you're not around them, meaning like sand or a real mushy bottom. So having that tungsten weight really helps with that. Come here. Oh. Whoa, whoa, she's back in. <laughs> back in. <laughs> That's not what you do. I got her that time. Yeah, Trocar got her again. Ooh, what happened here? Cody. Look at that. Lamprey eel, man. Lamprey eel? Lamprey eel. Wow, good thing I caught her. That way she won't have that. Dang, that's nasty. But yeah, no, Cody, it's been a great day, dude. I, I had a lot of fun. I learned a lot. I always enjoy fishing with you. You know, you guys make sure and like, share, tag a friend, tag your neighbor, and uh, can't wait to get together again and do this. Mm -hmm.